Hey guys, Sean here, and the PS5 release date is ever nearing, but we've reported the price up and the power down, we thought we'd take a look. So, let's get straight into it. The PS5 is hoping for a November release date, similar to that of the Xbox Series X, however, that's about the only similarity we could find. By analyst's best estimates, the price tag is looking around the $500 mark, which lines up about right because passing that mark would make the PS5 a tough sell to even the most dedicated of consumers. While nothing has been confirmed, there has been leaks suggesting that the PS5 is less powerful than its competitor, the Xbox Series X. There are concerns that the PS5 will struggle significantly when it comes to running games at 4K, despite the increased cost. While saying that, we want to reinforce the fact that we don't think the PS5 is a bad console. It has some really exciting exclusives announced, and a lot of these are rumours and not guaranteed. With that said, we do believe the industry should prepare for the PS5 to be the more pricey console, despite being less powerful. While there's no question that the games will run just fine on the console, players could end up looking at a lot of fake 4K, as developers are struggling to get their engines to run on the console properly, and many have had to look into using the checkerboard rendering method similar to that used on the PS4 Pro. This could explain why despite us nearing the release date, there has been no confirmation on the price of the console. It could likely be the result of them waiting for their competitor Microsoft to announce their price beforehand in order to avoid overpricing the console. We need to remember that at the end of the day, Sony is a business, so they will want to sell the console for as much as possible while ensuring they remain competitive. Despite the fears about the console struggling to run a 4K, the PS5 will support ray tracing and much faster loading times as a result of it using a custom solid state drive. This will also make a massive difference to the console's processing speeds and power overall. With that said, both consoles are looking good and whichever you end up choosing, we doubt you'll be disappointed. So tell us in the comments below, what console are you going to pick up and why? If you want us to continue to cover the PS5 and its launch, drop a like and let us know. I'm Sean and you're watching Gaming Today. Bye guys.